All right. Uh, uh, one aspect of this South Carolina vote, I have not seen this in, in prior presidential election years, where the focus isn't necessarily on who wins the state, but who places second or third. Once again, uh, it is the focus in South Carolina. Once again, much of the attention seems to be there uh, between Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio. Kansas City, uh, or uh, Kansas governor, I should say, Sam Brownback is very big on Marco Rubio, uh, but it's a tight contest right now. The governor on why Rubio is his guy. Governor, always good to have you. Uh, it, it is no surprise that uh, you know Rubio has been uh, getting a lot of big endorsements. You were an early backer, uh, so I think that that debate a couple of weeks back, all's forgiven. Well, I think so, and uh, plus he came strong after that debate. Uh, plus, Neil, he has a record in the Senate that I look at, and I think that's a lot along the lines of what I would vote and what I had done in the Senate. He fights strong on foreign policy. He's good on national defense. He's got ideas on supply-side pro-growth tax policies that he's putting forward. I mean, I look at the full package here, and I see a guy who can win and has got the right policies, and that's what I want. All right. Now, uh, would you be satisfied with any of the other candidates, though, should Senator Rubio not pull this off? In other words, Donald Trump, would you be okay with, with him as your nominee? Well, I mean, uh, this is against Bernie Sanders, uh, a guy that's an open socialist. Yes. Uh, How about but against I think Hillary Clinton? Uh, yes, I okay. would, uh, because when you look at she's moving so far left, and I don't think she really believes these things, honestly, Neil, but she's moving that far left, and it's going to be harmful to the country near term and long term, and we're going to need somebody strong, particularly to deal with military and foreign policy issues, which is a wreck overseas, what's taking place, particularly in the Middle East and all the convoluted situation there now that the president has allowed by leading from behind, which you can't do. Um, I'd be interested to get your thoughts, Governor, if you don't mind, on this Donald Trump dust up with the Pope. Both of them, as we've been reporting, are trying to dial it back a little bit. But the bottom line is, as you know, sir, is that the Pope was saying that Donald Trump isn't very Christian-like in his views on building walls and, and keeping people out. What did you think of all of that? Well, I didn't think it was a very good dust up for people to get in in the first place. Prior uh, popes haven't really commented that I've seen on any elections in any countries. And so I, I can see why people are trying to dial this back, saying this is just not a constructive thing to engage in in that sort of discussion in, a, in an electoral situation in any country, the United States or other. Um, you know, I'm wondering, this race is kind of odd, isn't it, Governor, in that everyone seems to be focusing on uh, it was the case in New Hampshire, it was the case in Iowa, who places second or third or fourth. Uh, how long can we do that? In other words, how long can your candidate do that without having to just win something, to win outright? Well, I mean, I think you got to look at the Trump situation. He's got 100% uh, name ID. He's gotten massive press coverage. And so he's probably topped out at where he can get on the actual vote. But that's not at over 50%. You know, you're looking at in the 30%. So as the field winnows down, more and more people that, that leave that field, their, can, their support goes to the remaining candidates. So who's ever left in second to Trump probably ends up winning, actually. Or you may end up know, with a three-way I mean, race. A, you need a single survivor, right? I mean, to, to do that, I mean, if there are two or three, I understand what you're saying. You, you need to whittle down that alternative ace. But by then, given the way delegates are, are awarded, uh, Governor, you could have Donald Trump in that. And if he, if he scores, as polls indicate right now, he will, in even follow-up primary states where he's polling, at least for the time being, with double-digit leads in a majority of them, do you then think that by that time, even if it gets down to one or two guys as an alternative, it's, it's almost too late. I don't think it's too late. And plus, as I was going to say there, you could end up with three candidates, each with a fair block of votes and nobody with the nomination going into the convention. And then you get the, the brokered situation, which is a yeah. very live possibility as you winnow this field down to two or three candidates. I think that's a very, uh, very clear prospect with this year because you normally got in other words, a social a broken, conservative a candidate convention. and a kind of a more convention. establishment, uh, yeah. supply side type candidate. That's usually your field. Well, now right. you got Trump, 
you know, more of social conservative and more of establishment lane. So you got the three lanes, which is very odd for us to have. Yeah. But that's something you could end up into a convention then with. You know, I said this over a year ago, Governor, and I, I, know, I, I know you get Fox Business, so you don't have to demand it. But I said that a year ago, that it's going to be a brokered convention. And I'm an idiot. So there you go. Uh, and it, it, this very well could, because it's just an odd setup for us. It we is. haven't seen this sort of alignment in a lot of years. It isn't the end of the world, though, to, you know, if you think about no. it. Uh, on, on both sides. Uh, both parties have had such conventions. And no, okay. it, it, it's not the end of the world no. at all. But the, the dichotomy between the two sides is probably as large as you've ever seen or that yes. I have in recent history. You're right about that, Governor. Always a pleasure having you, sir. Thank you for taking the time. My pleasure, Neil. All the best.